we've got an inland cyclone here that's defecated in its enclosure. Um, this is a, a basically a, a video I'm showing you how to remove a snake from an enclosure without putting yourself at risk. So, first thing I'm going to do, I've already taken the locks off the enclosure. I'm going to unlock it. So, by using the hook to hold onto the door, I can undo the two catches, and now the door can open up. Now, at the same time, what I'm doing is I'm also looking to see where the snake is. I can't see it easily. It could be sitting underneath the paper. So. We'll open up the enclosure and we'll take the, the hide out first and then we'll locate the snake. So again, instead of using your hands, use the hook to open the enclosure. So it's underneath the paper, I can actually see the snake sitting under the paper. So before putting your hands inside the enclosure, we're going to get rid of the snake. So hooking the snake up, watching the head, always watching the head. Alright, so if the snakes come out like that, that doesn't matter. You can always reset. Give the snake plenty of room. Don't crowd the snake. This is important with your room design that your room has got enough room to work. And so now we've got that tie pin out. Put it inside the bin. Always keeping your eyes on the, the snake. Putting the bin lid over. Using the bin lid essentially as a shield. So now we can get to the easy part. So we know there's only one snake in there. We can pull the water bowl out, put that to the side, pull the hide out, put that to the side, get rid of the crap. If the crap's on the paper, we tend to leave it on the weekend basically just to give it a quick clean and quick rinse just with some paper, water, rather than getting in there, putting chemicals inside the enclosures that don't need to be there. You can use a pair of gloves if you, if you so wish. take out shares in paper towel. Okay. Here's where the paper to go in. Nice and simple. You hide. Two reasons why we change the hides in the enclosure is that it provides enrichment for the snakes. Let's top this water bottle up. Water bottle's topped up. Okay, so water bottle's in position, hide's in position. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the snake out. Now when I get the snake out, I'm actually going to stick its head towards the hide. Usually what happens is the snake is stick its head off. So until I've got my hand on the hook, always use it like a shield with the bin lid. Move that off to the side, always watching the snake. Looking to hook about the first third of the body. Stick the head of the snake into the enclosure. Because it's its enclosure, it usually knows the smell. Alright, and the snake will go in pretty easily. No need to put your hands on the snake for no reason. Close the door, hold it shut with the hook. And she's done. It doesn't have to be a scary procedure. It doesn't need to be hyped up. You don't need to chase the snake around the room. A bit of good practice with enclosures that are set up well and room that's set up well with animals that are used to a routine. It doesn't need to be a big fanfare. You can keep a snake safely. Thanks.